Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to Shift Society. My name is PJ. We are in the middle of unfortunately unwrapping the C5, unwrapping the Black Ops C5 vet. And if you can see behind me, that is quite a few hours of work. Like I said in the reveal video of this car, uh, the car did hit a guardrail or whatever, but they did fix all the little scratches and bodywork, but then they just wrapped over top of it. We do have the new wrap in that is 75 by 5 feet, but they said it was on back order and then they found some, but it was like a week too late or something. So they sent me a free roll of 25 foot too. So I have like 100 foot of wrap. Not sure if I revealed the wrap color yet, but that will be coming soon. But the object for today is to get this car completely unwrapped to assess the exact damage that we have because there is some damage that i'm going to have to address if i want the new wrap completely smooth but for the most part whoever did the body work did a really really good job everything is pretty much straight but i'm going to have to find a heat gun and hopefully it will help this old wrap come off because it is old and brittle and it is just coming off in little pieces so hopefully with a little bit of heat this will make it a little bit faster. So that's gonna be the objective for today and tomorrow. So hopefully by the end of this video, we'll get this complete car unwrapped because if you can see, it is already like eight o'clock. We have about another hour of daylight. However, there is a car meet tonight. I may take this to the car meet and have everybody throw in a helping hand and unwrap this car at the car meet. That is Lucifer, the C6 Corvette that I have not completely showed yet. Um, don't ask why it's parked in the weeds. Don't ask why it's as dirty as it is because that's embarrassing and I'm ashamed of myself. But I will do a full reveal on that car here shortly. We did get new seats for it because my driver's seat broke. So don't give me crap about aftermarket seats when those are known to break and i don't want to be in a crash with that broken seat and get yeeted out the window regardless of seat belt the fender is pretty much completely unwrapped the door is completely unwrapped i unwrapped the mirrors of a car meet the other day and i've been working on the roof i've only made it this far like i said in the first video this car was actually painted a very nice black it is originally black he had it repainted black i just stepped on a water bottle don't know where that came from there is a cat that is cali that was the stray that showed up at Thanksgiving. Uh, it was painted a nice black, hit a guardrail, um, different colored body panels, back bumper is white, got some uh, pewter quarter panels, uh, pewter front bumper. Anyway, it doesn't matter because the car is gonna be rewrapped anyway. So guys, I'm gonna put you all on a tripod. Hopefully I can find a heat gun here somewhere. I know I have one, I just gotta find it. And hopefully we can get this car unwrapped. But like I said, if not, I'm gonna take it to the car meet and you're gonna see a bunch of us in a Lowe's parking lot unwrap this c5 kind of sounds like my buddy matt in an srt4 uh let's see he said he might be coming over to help so let's see don't worry about that a dog got into my trash let's see if there is an approaching matt farley ah, there it is Our boy Skyler too. The neon gang gang. All right guys, so day two, we ended up um, going to Lowe's, but I ended up just riding the R1 instead of taking the C5. So it is like 90 degrees out here right now. So I'm gonna try to use that heat to my advantage and continue unwrapping this because with the heat, instead of the little chunks, it is coming off much, much easier. Oh, well, I say that, but anyway, it's peeling off way, way easier than what it was. So it should speed up things to get the car unwrapped. 
and then I may give you a sneak peek of the wrap before we get this thing completely done. I'm pretty excited about it. Like I said, it's going to fit the plate name very, very well. Um, that plate was actually intended for my Mustang that was going to get the same wrap. But as you know, I sold it and bought this C5. Did confirm that the back bumper is indeed white. Um, everything else is black except for the panels that I told you. This one was in fact pewter and then it was primed in a couple different places but no big deal body is actually in pretty good shape so the new wrap should stay on it pretty well anyway let's get back to unwrapping Whew, 92 degrees out here today. Had to break out the old LSX straw hat from Horsepower and Hot Rods. Uh, I looked for one of these forever, um, and I finally found one. A lot of people think these are goofy, but giving me some pretty good shape. So anyway, we got the hood about half unwrapped. Most of the car is unwrapped now. We've got the front bumper to do and both rocker panels, and it will be fully unwrapped. Then we'll assess what damage we have on the car, and hopefully it's not much, and I'll give you a sneak peek at the new wrap. All right, so I have no idea what has happened right here. Like, I thought these were just like, maybe they wrapped over top of something, but literally it looks like this has been cut because the wrap is just following these lines. So I have no idea what actually happened here. If like somebody took a knife and just like was like carving this up or something, I don't exactly know what in the world happened. But it, this is like a pain to get all of these little areas off, especially because the bumper has been sitting in the shade, so I don't have the benefit of the sun. So I've been trying to heat this, but the hood is completely unwrapped now. So most of the car is unwrapped except for the front bumper now and the two rocker panels. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the rest of this peeled. Then we're gonna inspect this entire car. All right, guys. So after about three hours today of work, we completely have the car unwrapped. Front bumper was an absolute nightmare and I found a lot more damage on this car than I had anticipated. Had I known what I know now, I probably would not have bought this car, but it is what it is. I should have did more due diligence. It is what it is. There's still a couple little places that I have to peel, more so on the bottom side of the car, some of the fender trims, but I want to try to take this car uh, as far apart as I can, make the wrapping process just a little bit easier. Let me go around the car and we'll start at the front and I'll show you kind of all of the issues. So the bumper um, does have a big crack in it, but not only that is it's spider cracked in a lot of different places if i can find a front bumper in a timely fashion i'm probably going to go ahead and get a new front bumper because this one is kind of in bad shape of course i could probably sand it um, do some plastic weld and everything and get that kind of straight to where when you wrap it you probably won't be able to see it um the hood it was prepped um this is like i said an aftermarket hood in the first video i did on this car they did get it flattened out and everything but it was never actually painted the color of the car like i said this car was originally black as you can see but it did hit a guardrail and it did do some damage they did do a pretty good job on smoothing all of this out i'm going to smooth it a little bit further out some of the big damage is mostly on the door like this is down to bare fiberglass in a couple areas and the sides of the doors are kind of busted it's kind of really bad right through here 
and then down in here the actual rocker panel itself is cracked through so i'm going to try to fix that i'm going to pull these out and right behind them and then paint these gloss black the quarter panel isn't in horrible shape the top here i think this is missing a seal around the rear windshield i have to look but underneath the wrap i did find out i'm not sure if this is just the paint that's cracked or the actual roof is cracked but i'm going to try to take that down as far as i can it's kind of hard to see in the black paint but you can kind of see it there coming on around like i said the back of the quarter panel isn't bad the bumper itself isn't bad i still have to peel around the tail lights i'm going to pull those out they did just spray paint the bottom of this in a very crude fashion there's a lot of damage over here this is still cracked um and when they did these seams it just seems like they cut the seams on the car because these are hard to see but they actually gashed into the bumper itself so i'm gonna have to try to prime those and fill those paint is kind of bubbled over through here so hopefully i can sand that out to get the wrap to set flush same thing with this rocker down here but this side over here is the best side of the car as you can see you kind of look at that angle you would think the car is pretty mint until you start looking at everything else everything over here is okay so the big damage obviously was on that side they did smooth this part out here i'm guessing that there was a scratch or a chip or something there that they tried to get fixed but anyway that is the car completely unwrapped with the exception of a couple little small places let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a walk around just to see the whole thing. Like I said, this is the worst side of the car. There's my cat. She's out here wandering around. Her name is Callie. This name is gonna be more for, this is an absolute mission to get this car back fixed now. Instead of wrapping behind these letters, they actually just trimmed around the letters. I'm gonna pull these out. These are stainless steel letters. Not sure if I will wrap those and stick them back in with the new wrap color or not. This quarter panel and there's the rest of the car. So I'm gonna take you over here and give you a little sneak peek of the new wrap. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this on my story. But there is you a sneak peek of the wrap. And one more look at the car. So guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. It has been a long two days of getting this car unwrapped. Uh, the next video on the C5 will be taking it apart to get it prepped to put the new wrap on. So I will probably, I will probably get the Mustang out of the garage. Um, that is my buddy's Mustang. I may actually take it back to his because he just not got a, now got a new garage. So I may take that to him. Put the C5 in its place so we can begin the teardown. Oh, what a two days this was. Um, if you ever unwrap a car, heat is your best friend. If you can let the car set out in, you know, the direct sunlight, it helps tremendously. Whenever the sun went down, it became so, so much harder to get that car unwrapped. Had to use the heat gun a lot more. But anyway, the car is unwrapped for the most part. I'm going to do a couple mods while it's off. Because it is broke. Which is why this car hasn't been drove. But anyway, there's one last look at the C5. So if you guys like this process, if you like the car, hit the big thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel as always. We actually just hit a million views on the channel, which is kind of crazy um, to really think about considering um, how inconsistent I am. But thank you guys for all the support. We're also over, I think 5.1K now. So I would love to hit 10K. So if you guys are watching this, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.